So it's about 20 degrees right now. Maybe not quite 20. So let's get up to 24. I have these working up right across the top box. And I have food stores. This yard's in flow, so I'm not feeding anymore. We're very close to the flow. As I'm going to place, just because I want to see what happens. I want to see what happens if I treat the strip here. Top box underneath the foil. Entrance wide open, two boxes of bees. You know, that 20 to 24 degree day. Again here. This is a full two boxes of bees. It's deceiving. I mean, they're, they're, they're working two boxes, but it's not like they're two boxes of bees. So the brood nest is the bottom box working up into the top box. And they're actively storing nectar in the top box here. They're not hungry. They're not, they're, they're lush, but light, but not starving. So I'm thinking treating the pad up top here is further away from the brood, which will probably jigger with the efficacy, but I want to see if I can manage this treatment so it's not killing off my open brood or killing off my queens. And maybe against the foil like that, it's going to maybe slow down that flash I'm going to experience like right now. on these expiry in August, 08 to 24. So they're, the pads are a little bit old, but still within recommended, uh, within their shelf life. Random shakes, counting zeros.
the six colonies that I treated on the second box <clears throat> underneath the lid. Half of them I treated without the foamy, half with the foamy. The ones without the foamy, um, pretty good blast, you can imagine, because the lid is probably a little bit warmer with the sun. And I'm digging down and I'm seeing open brood not being tended to and dying. And I'm seeing cap brood dying as you're leaving the cell. The colonies with the foamy on top so it didn't evaporate as quick. Uh, there's not as much larval death, but they are getting very dry, so I imagine they're going to be taking them out. I noticed the bees did not move out of the second box, so maybe if I would have left, just left, leave things alone, come back in seven days, wouldn't know any different. But I'm coming to the conclusion that this formic is just not a treatment for me because I fuss too much and I spend too much time building my nests, building the brood. I invest a lot of money into building brood, moving things forward. <clears throat> I'm having a hard time adopting a treatment that slaps the colony back. So I'm out. That's all there is to it. Some guys are familiar with the product and accept the losses. A lot of guys don't even go back and check. I'm just not, I'm going to have to move towards another product, which isn't as hard on the brood. Bottom line.